So thanks again for doing this this evening, Janet. I really appreciate it. No problem. Um, to get started, can you tell us a little bit about your topic and how you decided upon that topic? Well, in being in the program down at Sacred Heart, I really wanted to choose a topic that I could easily infuse into my teaching position so that I wasn't doing double the work. Um, so with that said, I chose something that I'm passionate about and also that is part of my day-to-day -day job, which is uh, mathematics intervention. So I knew I wanted to go down that avenue, but I wasn't really sure where, so I started broader and looked at what response to intervention is in the state of Connecticut and how it was developed and what the rationale and research behind it was. And then from there, I started to narrow down into what mathematics instruction has evolved into, especially with the adoption of the Common Core. And then from there, I went even narrower into mathematics intervention, and I started to find in the literature I read that RTI in math was not working because kids past third grade still had really um, large gaps in their number sense understanding. So that then pointed me in the direction of number sense and early numeracy intervention, and I found there was very little out there. In fact, um, much of the research said they didn't encourage students in kindergarten or first grade to receive early numeracy intervention, which contradicted the rest of the research I had read about. So that's what narrowed me all the way down to developing um, a thesis around early numeracy intervention with kindergarten students. Okay. Now, you touched on this a, a little bit in, in your response to that question, but once you decided upon your topic and thinking back to, say, the first few days of, or I guess the first few classes of um, EDL 689, how did you go about starting your literature review itself? I just started to research and find articles that had anything to do with response to intervention. I started broad so that I could have a lot of sources to look at. Uh, you had advised us that if you narrowed too fast, we wouldn't have an abundance of literature to refer to or cite. So starting broad was definitely really important. And then I just started looking for key themes in any of the RTI research. So whether it was themes on the consistency or the amount of times groups were met with or for how long groups were met with or whether they were finding RTI to be successful in one capacity or another and if there were similarities and differences and tried to start you know putting my research together into different themes and then those themes kind of led me down you know the funnel that you had discussed with us in our course Okay. Um, now that you've completed the process, um, what's something that you wish you had known about it up front? What I wish I had known up front was that you have to spend time, a lot of time, looking at your research, not just finding what a study concluded with and moving on. Um, looking at different designs and methodologies. I wish I had spent more time investigating that aspect. Um, I think with the time crunch and the amount that was on my plate, I tried to just go the simplest route in the end. But if I had really looked at a longitudinal scale, I probably would have liked to have spent more time in the research aspect which is what I'm now doing, even though I'm not <laughs> needed to. Okay. Um, I also think you cannot stress enough the deadlines. And I, of course, am a personality that stuck to deadlines. Um, but I think I, I would advise that everyone needs to kind of give themselves like a week you know, if you have a deadline on on a, on a Saturday, you need to have a draft done the Saturday before so that you can spend time editing and revising it and you're not doing it at the last minute. You know, give yourself time, meet those deadlines. Okay. 
thinking back to the beginning of EDL 689, the, the literature review course, if you had to give some advice to someone who was in the first two or three classes of, of that course, what would you tell them? I would tell them to start organizing the research they are finding. Um, one mis key mistake I made, and I know others did when they first started their literature review, was isolating sources for each paragraph or pages. And I found that once I finally organized my research by topic and theme, it was much easier to um, use multiple sources to point to a key finding or understanding for each section of my lit review instead of having it isolated. And organization is the foundation of that, being able to have all of you know the early numeracy stuff together so I can pull what I needed when I needed it. Okay. Um, I guess to finish up, is there any other general advice you would have for folks? either specifically about the literature review or about the overall thesis process in general? Keep going. Don't give up. Even when, um, you know, you find yourself not wanting to sit down and write or revise, just, you know, give yourself a space. Even if you start with a half hour at a time, just sit and write. And I know that you had given us that advice and we kind of laughed at you and rolled our eyes thinking, yeah, okay, we'll get it done. But the literature review was one of the most challenging parts of the thesis process because it was such a lengthy piece of the overall project that you really cannot try and sit and do it the weekend before it's due. Um, so give yourself time to write um, over multiple days and weeks, not just trying to cram it in. And I think just get your thoughts on paper and if they have, you know, if this is for future students that you're going to have, they're very lucky in that you will edit and review things a hundred times like you did for my work. And I think they need to use you as that resource that you are and um, really tap into your knowledge set to help them and not just rely on turning it in when it's due. No, oh, thank you for that, Jen. And I'm sure the, the other thesis instructors um, provide the, the same uh, stuff for their students and I depending upon which section ends up watching this video in the end uh, you know they might have me as an instructor they might have other folks so um, but that is great advice you know to rely upon uh, your instructor to provide that feedback well thank you very much for this tonight Jen I really appreciate it and um, you have a great night no problem you too wish you well thank you